In this lecture, we will discuss about ozone layer. First of all, we all should know what are the main layers of atmosphere. These are troposphere, the lowermost, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere, the topmost. Ozone layer is present in stratosphere. Ozone layer is mainly found in the lower portion of stratosphere from approximately 20 to 30 kilometers above Earth. Ozone layer protects Earth from harmful UVB radiation. Decrease in ozone concentration leads to increase in UVB radiation reaching the Earth's surface. Formation of ozone layer UV radiation splits oxygen molecules into atomic oxygen. Atomic oxygen quickly combines with other oxygen molecules to form ozone. Ozone hole is an annual thinning of the ozone layer over Antarctica caused by the stratospheric chlorine. We can see in the animation chlorine atoms from chlorofluorocarbons attacks the ozone and forms chlorine monoxide. Chlorine monoxide then combines with another oxygen atom to form a new oxygen molecule and a chlorine atom. You will be surprised to know that a single active chlorine converts 1 lakh molecules of ozone into oxygen. Satellite picture showing hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica. These are the pictures from year October 1980, October 1985 and October 1990. Ozone depleting substances. These are carbon tetrachloride, chlorine, nitrous oxide, methane, halones, chlorofluorocarbons. Environmental effects of ozone depletion Impacts on human health It includes skin cancer, suppression of immunity, cataracts and other eye damages. In plants, it reduces photosynthesis, kills plankton and reduces the population of fishes. It also increases air pollution. What are the steps taken to stop ozone depletion? Montreal Protocol It is a treaty created in 1987 by 36 nations. It says cut emissions of chlorofluorocarbons into the atmosphere by about 35% between 1989 and 2000. Met three more times then met in 1997 in Montreal. Adopted a protocol accelerating the phase out of key ozone depleting chemicals. The Declaration of Helsinki Created in 1989, it says Majority of nations pledged to phase out chlorofluorocarbons by the year 2000. After that, chlorofluorocarbons have been replaced with hydrofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons. This is all about ozone layer. Thank you.